Hi, and welcome to the Intervino School of Wine. I'm Cyrus Chahardey, and today we're going to be looking at a magical uh, wine, a magical appellation that is Meursault. Meursault is part of the Golden Triangle of Burgundy, uh, the place where you probably find some of the world's very finest wines. The other two appellations are chassagne Montrachet and Puligny Montrachet. Here is our guide to this unbelievable appellation. Meursault, Meur, it's a, it's a hard one to say, Meursault, Meursault. Meursault is the name of the village the wine comes from. It's in the heart of Burgundy, just about halfway between Paris and Lyon, in the French department, the region of the Côte d'Or. It's a tiny appellation uh, that is just under 400 hectares. So that's basically two kilometers by two kilometers for the whole appellation. Meursault is mainly renowned for its white wines, but it does also produce reds. The grape variety that's used for whites is the grape variety of white burgundy, which is Chardonnay, while the reds are produced from Pinot Noir. There are two levels of Meursault. Meursault in both red and white, but also two different levels, village and premier cru. Although the wines of Meursault are unbelievable in quality, there are no Grand Crus in the appellation of Meursault. Meursault village is presented as just Meursault. So basically on the label, it's just Meursault. But it can also sit uh, alongside the name of the vineyard it comes from, the lieu dit. So you could have a, a, a Meursault from uh, Domaine des Comtes Lafont. Uh, here, the wine uh, is going to be made from grapes grown anywhere within the appellation. Then we have the village appellation with the lieu dit. For example, Meursault Les Narvaux from the Domaine Vincent Girardin. In this case, the grapes must solely come from that one vineyard. Above that, we have the Meursault Premier Cru. These wines will state Premier Cru on the label as well as the name of the vineyard, uh, the, the, the climat it comes from. For example, Meursault Premier Cru, Les Poruso from Domaine Jobar. So it's a wine from the Domaine Jobar and from the, from the vineyard, from the Cru, Premier Cru, Les Poruso. White Meursault is made entirely from Chardonnay, just like most Burgundy whites. But the typical style of Meursault is to have intense, rich, oaky wines. Think apple, peach, brioche, hazelnut. With aging, uh, you're going to find new, wonderful aromas of dried fruit, honey, uh, that are going to develop in your wine as well. Red Meursault is going to show more delicate nose of Pinot Noir, uh, typical aromas of black and red fruits, licorice, undergrowth, and a few spices. For the whites, uh, we have intense, rich, so high sweetness wines, high acidity wines that are gonna be rather oaked. If you had to compare them, you'd be thinking of something intense like a lady opera singer, a lot of freshness, a lot of class, a lot of elegance. Uh, these are wines that are going to age exceptionally well thanks to their acidity and to, the, to that sweetness that they have. For the reds, um, the mouthfeel is going to be round, supple, uh, with a medium to high acidity and tannins uh, and, and a medium fruity uh, of sweetness. So we've got wines that are very classy, very elegant, a bit understated. I personally am not a fan of Meursault paired with seafood. I feel the intensity of the wine overpowers the seafood when it's served simply. Now, add a bit of creaminess and everything changes, especially if you have some spices and mushrooms. Delicate curry, saffron, truffles, morals in creamy sauce with poultry or with that seafood or fish, and you're going to go to heaven and back. 
Meursault, especially when age, is going to be particularly um, superb with creamy washed rind uh, cheeses. Uh, that, that match is particularly magical. For the reds, um, I think delicate meats such as veal or very lean cuts of beef are going to be very interesting with red morceau. Now, if white morceau is your thing, I recommend you try the neighboring appellations of Puligny Moraché and Chassagne Moraché. Puligny typically is going to be sharper, more compact. Chassan, on the other hand, is going to be slightly lighter um, than Meursault and maybe a bit more delicate. If you want to splash out and really go all out, get yourself a bottle of Le Moraché and Batard Moraché, Chevalier Moraché, Bienvenue Moraché, Crio Batard Moraché. However, if you're looking at more affordable options, I'd recommend Ossé Duresse, which is a wonderful appellation. Some of its lieudies uh, actually border Meursault, such as Les Vireux, uh, Les Boutonniers, or La Macabre are truly wonderful and they're really next to Meursault, very similar. For the Reds, Montli and Ossé du Rest are going to be great go-to appellations, similar in style to Meursault. There are way too many fantastic Meursault for me to name, but I'm going to give you a selection of some of the best growers from this fantastic appellation. Coche du Riz, Domaine Dovno, Comte Lafont, Domaine Jobard, Domaine Jacques Prieur, Domaine Marquis d'Angerville, and Domaine Vincent Danser. It, there's many out there, but those really stand out as the, the, the best growers on this appellation. Meursault is without a shadow of a doubt one of the greatest white wine appellations in the world. Of course, as with everything uh, relating to wine, whether you like it or not, uh, is a question of taste. One thing is for sure, though, is that you need to try Meursault at least once in your life. You might absolutely fall in love with it. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed uh, discovering Meursault uh, or finding out a bit more about Meursault if you already knew Meursault. Uh, until our next video, I wish you a wonderful time. See you then.